it's that time again summer is upon us we're getting ready to have a seven or eight day heat wave where the average temperature is going to be well above 100 degrees how do i help my multi-grafted avocado tree survive through that incredible heat wave we're going to take a look at that but first, if you like this channel, make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, notification bell. Comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to get back to everybody with their comments and their questions. So let's take a look at how I help this avocado tree get no damage in temperatures above 100 degrees. It's no surprise that avocados do best in temperatures significantly below 100 degrees but here in the san joaquin valley we see that temperature many many times um a year as a matter of fact we've already seen seven days above 100 degrees and we're only in june but as you can see my avocado tree is lush and beautiful and still holding a lot of fruit though it did lose a few when the temperature was above 100 and the wind was howling at 30 miles an hour. But I got a good, pretty darn good crop. The thing is, um, a lot of people complain that, man, it just the heat will just create all kinds of problems for their avocado trees. And uh, someone even suggested that maybe I tent my tree and protect it against the heat. But that's not true. I do not do anything special when it comes to shading my tree though if your tree is used to it and the temperatures are hot and it damages the um, the leaves whenever you uh, whenever the heat wave hits it's probably best that you put a little shade cloth out though one of the things that i find that works best is a proper irrigation practice and that is i um first off well my tree's in the uh, grass so that offers a lot more cooling uh, of the ground because when the temperature is 100, 105, 110 and you have a uh, bare ground, <laughs> that darn thing is just the soil temperature is going to be 120 degrees or above. Not good for avocados. And so I, uh, I, I grow this in my front yard so it has the benefit of the grass reflecting or I should say shading the soil from the heat another thing is a really good irrigation system uh, I have it being in the uh, the tree being in my yard I have uh, regular sprinklers that come on but that just keeps my lawn just barely alive so what I like to do is a couple days before the main heat wave hits I like to do a fairly deep watering using one of the standard old sprinklers works great it really does but that's just not quite enough because if i was to leave that on for hours at a time my soil would get waterlogged and the trees just do not like that type of uh irrigation at least in my garden and again i'm not a uh a professional avocado grower i just am a home gardener that has a knack about keeping his avocado trees li alive in uh, extreme weather what i end up doing is this uh just before like here we are like two days before the heat wave and i use a special soaker hose but it's not one of those big soaker hoses that you hook, regular soaker hoses that you hook up to your um your your lawn uh hose it's a special one that i make and i'm going to take show you guys how i how it works so here's a close-up of the basic design of my uh, my deep watering um, soaker hose. As you can see, it's parts made from a, a drip irrigation system. It has a, a regulator, that uh, pressure regulator, and then here's an adapter. And then I put um, some drip irrigation line, not the thick one, the little quarter inch, I believe it is. And then, here we have the soaker hose, little soaker hose. And I usually do, it depends on the side of your, size of your tree. This one's only about three or four feet long, but this is good enough 
to truly deep water, but not flood your avocado tree. I put this under the canopy and I leave it run for a couple hours every day before the heat wave hits. So one, one more time, I'll show you. Here's a pressure regulator and it keeps the water come flowing at a uh, regular rate. And then here's an adapter to a, cord, a quarter inch, I believe this size, uh, it's drip irrigation hose. And then I hook it up to this um, so little ir uh, drip irrigation soaker hose. And I'm gonna hook it up and I'll show you guys how it works. So here we go. We have the soaker hose all tied into the regular hose. And as you can see, it's already got a little water in it. Let's turn this guy on and see how it, uh, how it works. It's very, as you can see, It just drips on me. I don't know if you can see that. You see, it's got little fine holes. And this thing just drips its way, soaks straight down, and it doesn't flood irrigate. You can wrap this around the, wrap this around the base of the tree, a little bit away from the tree. Um, what I do is I usually, since this is a small soaker hose, I usually put it uh, around half underneath the canopy, about two feet away from the trunk, maybe about two to four feet away from the trunk. And then I, um, and then I'll rotate it around. Or you could do two, it's easy, easy enough to do. There you go, that's my special soaker hose. A lot of you guys have been asking about it. And as you can see on my avocados, they're doing just fine. No sunburning. We've had several days of 100 degree temperatures. No sunburn whatsoever. And there's a lot of, there's a lot of fruit that's not even under the canopy. And I believe that it's my irrigation. So, if you like this channel, if you like growing tropical fruit trees in marginal climates, make sure to hit that like, subscribe button, notification bell, comments and questions, leave them in the comment section below. I do my best to answer everybody's questions and their comments. You have a wonderful day.